groundbreaking pageant in my life. Wala ako nakuha. Walang place, walang top, walang anything. First time kong umiyak backstage. I stopped from there. I stopped from there. sorry sa family ko kasi especially sa mama ko like kung alam niyo lang guys andun siya lagi as in lagi hinahatid siya doon niya ako from La Union to Dagupan may make up niya ako pag wala akong make up artist actually yung photo shoot ko na yan siya yung nag make up sa akin yan so i'm just really thankful syempre pumunta pa yung family ko all the way from La Union to Dagupan to watch me tas wala akong nakuha so, umiyak talaga ako and really thankful kasi si Mama Rex yung makeup artist ko noon. She was like telling me na okay lang yun na and so like that. Tapos yun, 2016, hindi ako nag-join. Nag-college na ako from SLU to Lorma. Nominate ako ng mga classmates ko sumali sa Miss Nursing sa Lorma. So, so, I was like, ayoko na. Kasi natakot ako ma-reject. Natakot ako matalo. Alam mo yun, parang feeling ko, oh my god, baka hindi ko kayanin. Wala na akong choice. So sabi ko, okay, fine. Nang mamaka, huwag ko nalang isipin kung manalo or what. And I think that's the main point. So yun, uh, nag-join ako ng Miss Nursing. Nung nanalo ako, I was like, <laughs> Oh my God. Parang bumalik yung confidence ko. Bumalik na naman siya, guys. Pataas. And I was like, really excited. I was like, Oh my God. Tapos susunod ng Miss Nursing kasi is Miss Lorma. Yung whole departments ng buong everything. Tapos, I was like, oh my God, sabi ko. Um, hindi ako pressured na pressured, pero, in fairness, guys, mas nakakakaba pala pag school pageant, rather than municipality pageant pa yan. Kasi, like, everyone knows you, like, you're not, you're not there for yourself, but you're there because you're representing your department, your course. Kaya, feeling ko, mas buhat mo yun. Hindi, more than buhat mo yung sarili mo. Pero, luckily, yun nga, nanalo ako, guys. Um, I won Miss Lorma 2017. Now, sa ati Angel Molina, sabi niya sa akin, balik na tayo sa municipal pageant. And that's where I joined Miss City of San Fernando 2017. So, yun, sobrang, alam mo yung pageant na yun, sobrang saya lang niya, sobrang fun, sobrang lively. Ang daming activities na sobrang dami ko na-enjoy. Hindi ako nag-title. I was the second crown. is the Miss Barangay, City of San Fernando. And guys, sobrang sayo kasi. Nalo ako ng best in swimsuit. Tapos, um, biglang tumawa sa si Ma'am Matet. Um, she's in charge of the tourism office San Fernando. Sabi niya sa akin, Do you want to join a national pageant? Why me? Eh? Why not the reigning? So, sabi niya, no, kasi mayroon siyang provincial pageant. Ikaw na lang ipapresent namin sa nationals. It's the Mysterism Philippines. Ah! Sabi ko, oh my god. Sabi ko, nationals? Sabi ko, kaya ko ba? Kaya sobrang, oh my god. Yung Mysterism Philippines, sobrang na-enjoy ko yun. Though sobrang hectic niya. Everything. Si, Ma si Mother Rex, yung handler ko doon. Siya yung makeup artist ko yung gown ko doon and everything. Puntahan namin yung buong lugar ng San Fernando para ma-promote namin yung tourist spots natin sa San Fernando. And sobrang amazing niya, guys. Sobrang ganda. Nakapunta ako ng Camarines Norte, sa Manila ko lagi, tapos pa ba, Zambales, uh, uh, Loco Sur, napuntahan namin lahat yan. O saan dami namin napuntahan places ito sa buong Philippines, which is sobrang saya. Pero, Ang dami kong natutunan doon. Um, hindi ako nanalo sa pageant na yun. I was only top 16 sa pageant na yun. Though, sobrang na-enjoy ko yun. And I'm really thankful for the city of San Fernando for like 
and trusting me, I'm out of words kasi, oh my god, sobrang thankful ako kasi pinili nila ako para mag-represent ng province na to sa national pageant, di ba? So, I mean, after ng rain and stuff like that, bumalit na ako sa school. Tapos, yung head ng Mysterism Philippines called me. Sabi niya, do you want to join an international pageant? Guess so what, guys? Sa Korea! Sa Korea, guys! Tapos, sinabi niya sa akin, it's like a month in Korea. I was like, shocks! Oh my God! Yes! Deep inside, yes. Pero sabi ko, paano yung studies ko? Sabi ko, oh my God! Although, though I'm taking only minors at that time, sabi ko, oh my god, ko, sorry, I missed this ko. And then I told my mom, shockingly, sobrang supportive niya. Sabi niya sa akin, you can always go back to school, but you can never go back to that opportunity. Which is for me true, pero sabi ko, oh my god, paano yung school ko? Ngayon, yung school ko, hindi nila ko pinayagal may excuse sa mga classes ko. Which is really understandable, kasi it is a month din naman. So, tinuloy ko yung international pageant na yun sa Korea. I stayed in Korea for a month, guys. Pura kami fashion show, photo shoots, travel to Jeju Island, travel to Yasu, travel. Saan, we went to five cities, five or six cities, yun eh, as far as I can remember. And I even spent my birthday in Jeju Island. <laughs> okay, so after nung pageant na yun, sobrang. Pumunta pa kami ng mga factories, sa mga makeups. Binigyan nila ako ng maraming makeup, guys, ng mga damit, pillows, and everything. Oh my god, over baggage ako. Literal. So, guys, um, hindi ako nanalo sa budget na yun. Top something lang, tapos nanalo ako ng Best in National Costume. All thanks to Mama Rex Vitalis for my yung costume ko na yun, yung may manok, 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 yun. <laughs> tapos yun, oh, umuwi ako ng Pilipinas. Tapos, nag-enroll ako ulit. Tapos, sabi ko talaga, hindi na ako mag-join ng pageant. Yun. Tapos, funny thing, alam mo yung pageant life ko? Parang it's been a big, big world, worldwide. Big roller coaster, glaan, full of events and everything. So, I stopped 2017. 2018. After passing yung Miss Barangay, yung Miss Barangay ko na crown, Mother Chandran called me. Mga 10 na ng gabi, or 9 ng gabi. Tapos sabi niya, Anak, ikaw na lang isali namin sa... Ano na to? Miss Virginia Tobago. I was like, ha? Huh? Paano? Tapos sabi niya, ikaw na isasali namin kasi hindi may nag-back out. Kada ganyan, may due to personal reasons. And I was like, eh, hindi ako nag-screen, walang anything. Kada ganyan. Hindi ako kaya lang sinali namin picture mo. And I was like, what? Well, kailan po yun? Sabi, bukas, 5 a.m. I was like, ha? Huh? Oh my God! Magta-talent ka lang tomorrow. Tomorrow na! Oh my God, guys! Imagine! 10 p.m. Tapos 5 a.m. Magta-talent ako. Oh my God. I cannot imagine. Tapos, pinuntahan ko sila doon sa bahay. Pinasuot sa akin yung uh, gown. Pinasuot sa akin yung costume and everything. I was like, oh my God. Okay, fine. Let's do it. Since it is a 2D pageant lang kasi ang Virginia to be. Tapos, pagpunta namin doon, when I was driving there, pinaparingan ko yung music sa radio, yung sa CD box niya. Pinaparingan ko nung paulit-ulit. Eh, hindi ako singer. Pero kakanta ako. So, I was like, okay, fine. Let's do it. Wala lang mo yung nakakakilala sa akin sa Ilocosur. Kaya, I don't really care that time na. Tapos, yun nga, pagpunta namin dun sa Ilocos, sa Kandon, kumanta ako, guys. Nagkamali-mali pa ako, pero, okay. <laughs> Tapos, na-reject yung gown ko! Hindi daw siya orange. Sabi sa akin, hindi daw orange yung gown na yun. Kaya, oh my God, we had to call Mother Marga! Mother Marga to the rescue. Tapos, sabi ni Mother Marga, okay lang yan. Ako, bahala sa'yo. Oh my God, the next day, guys. Hindi ko alam na 12 kami, tapos 3 lang agad ang manana. 3 agad, top 3 agad, tapos crown na agad. Pero, sobrang thankful ko kasi dumating yung gown ko. Before ko siya kailangan suotin. Like, after production, meron na siya. Or production natin, meron na siya. So, I was like, oh my god, di ko malang nasukat and anything. Pero, I was like, really thankful. Super savior ko din si Mother Marga sa time na yon Tapos, shockingly guys, nanalo ko. Second crown, it is the Miss Philip. Ano na yun? 
Miss National Miss Philippine National Tobacco Institute. Yun. So I stopped ulit for a year. Tapos bigla around February tumawag sa akin si Mother Marga. Sabi niya sa akin, "Anak, gusto mo bang sumali ng Miss La Union?" I was like, "Huh? How?" I was really starting to feel na nag-down na yung katawan ko. Like sobrang pagod niya na sa duty, sa school, sa practices, sa training and everything. Tapos yung technical result, as in nilalagnat talaga ako. As in nilalagnat ako ng sobrang taas na I was really crying na. Kasi hindi ko na kaya eh. Hindi ko na kaya eh. Hindi ko na kaya eh. 